Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about uh, config files for your scripts and what they do, how they work. Uh, so we're going to open up a couple of my scripts. I believe there are going to be some config files in here. Uh, we're just going to take a look sees. So first one, no. Um, systems, no. Okay, I know police systems. Does. So <clears throat> we'll just take a look at police systems here. So we're going to open up client and server. As well as the config file so in here we have a config uh, config could actually be uh, set to anything here so this could be set to any word you would like uh, and right now it just has a no bracket so uh, we know it's gonna be some sort of thing inside of it and what I used it for uh, were vehicle list here let me zoom in for you guys real quick as well so I used it for vehicle list, which I sorted in this order of uh, number array. So we have one through 10 and one being set to uh, different types of vehicles. Uh, I have the same thing with EMS vehicles, uh, setting uh, the different numbers to different vehicles. <clears throat> I also have authorized locations. Uh, this one doesn't have numbers. Uh, this was just all uh, vector locations that were going to be allowed so let's see in the code uh, I'm just gonna quickly search for config uh, config so <clears throat> this is a way hold on let me this is a way that you could actually use it for uh, locations and grabbing all the locations so we do a loop value here so for I equals one and then uh, you got to put the pound sign uh, config authorized locations uh, and when you do that, uh, and then one, when you do uh, this, it will grab all these locations. So it'll go through every single one of these authorized locations in your config file. Now, you're probably wondering how how is it grabbing this? And we'll go right back into police systems here. And we will go into the FX manifest. So it's grabbing this because uh, under client scripts, it is going to be under it's going to be config.lua if you wanted to use it in a server script in this case we didn't uh, this config.lua will also have to be in the server script and we put it first because uh, we're going to be grabbing from it and we want to make sure that this file loads before every single other file and that's that that's going to be how you basically grab your config so we can close this and let's see so we have a for loop going into all locations and then it's a, and then we add a local auth uh, auth locations just so we don't have to keep on con calling this uh, config file and we do a uh, config dot authorized locations i um so i it's grabbing all the locations and we basically just copy this and then put the array with i in there um from here we have local local auth which if you're in this distance, then it will do this. Um, we check for jobs here, and then we check on the vehicle. So I actually did this one very badly. I couldn't edit this script, but there's no need. Uh, you guys could stay tuned for uh, videos about me creating my own framework. You'll be seeing the rundown on how I, how I do things, how I problem solve, and all of that. <clears throat> but here's one way we did it. Uh, we could have did the same loop for this, but uh, instead we did a much longer way. We have a bunch of if else states, if else statements, which I should have just used if statements overall and just kept going. Uh, but args one. So if you typed SV space one, uh, it would do this and we would get a, and this was for vehicles. So we have config dot vehicle list one, <clears throat> and I could have just put the number value that you could have typed and it's getting this, but for one, it's going to be spawning vehicle one. So if args equals one, it will grab this local model. We'll get hash key. And then we did config dot vehicle list one, which it will go into the config and grab this vehicle list, which is 11 CVPI. And we do the same thing basically for two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Uh, then we have another check for ambulance. This one's obviously a little different. We have config.vehicle list EMS. 
one. So then it grabs this. Uh, and you could do this for lots of things. Uh, it doesn't have to just be uh, locations. It could be items. So if you want to randomize an item, for an example, uh, you could do give player, uh, you can give a player an item and have it randomized. So you could do math.random and then put in a number and you could do the same sort of setup as this, but instead of vehicle list, it would be item name. And you would put item name in here. And depending on what math random you get would be correlation to what item they would be getting. Um, so it's more of like, it could be like a rarity thing if you really wanted to. Uh, but in the gist of it, that is how you would set up a config.lua for your client side uh server side it's it's the same thing it works the same way uh you can grab uh <clears throat> grab all these uh on server side as well you just got to remember to put it in your fx manifest but thanks for watching if you guys have any questions make sure you hop in the discord let me know post a comment below if you want to see a different type of video what you want to see i'm all for it all for recording it remember stay tuned for new videos make sure you have that notification bell on hop in the discord you get notifications in there as well thanks for watching